Are you using third-party libraries and paid tools in your project or you are building everything on your own? When I started to learn iOS development, I had no idea that you can just grab packages from the internet, plug in, in your, into your project, put them together and make some little bit frankenstein -y but working applications. And yeah, of course, I was way too excited with this functionality and I used way too much uh, third-party libraries in my apps on beginning. But I saw similar approach on, uh, on some freelance projects as well. From other side, I saw that, okay, when I was on, let's say, bigger projects, there were approaches that, okay, we are not using third-party libraries, but uh, because we don't know how good or crappy they are, we don't have time to kind of review them, fix them, uh, and so on, we better will build everything for, by ourselves, and we know better how <laughs> it should work. So where I am now today, I will tell you, but we need a coffee first. Slam dunk, are you ready? I promise you, we need this box for the video. <laughs> okay, here we have it. This will save us a lot of money. I'm starting every morning by making coffee in Chemex and I'm making two of them. One for myself and another for my wife to take to the job. I'm using this grinder to grind my coffee because freshly grinded coffee just tastes better. And sure, you can use pre-grinded coffee, but you know that's more for, I don't know, extreme cases. We are not animals to drink it every day, right? And so if I am making those two Chemex on the morning and then maybe third during the day and sometimes four, number four later in the afternoon, that's already 20 minutes of me just walking around the apartment with coffee grinder. Let's do some indie hackers mathematics. So let's say you have app in the app store which makes, let's say, 4,000 bucks in a month. And you are working for about two hours in a day in average, so that makes uh, in a month something like 40 hours. So we're dividing those 4,000 to the 40 hours, that's about 100 bucks in an hour, right? Should be correct. Sounds right, whatever. <laughs> Double check my math, but if you are making something like 100 bucks in a month and I'm using this hand grinder to grind my coffee for 20 minutes in a day, so that means that it costs me to grind the coffee, it costs me 100 bucks in three days to grind the coffee. And that coffee maker was something like 140, 150 bucks. So in less than a week, this coffee grinder will be already break even and will start to make money every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that probably that doesn't make sense to do everything by yourself even in that environment, like your, in your day-to-day -day work. If you, are, if you are making, I don't know, more than 5k in a month, it doesn't make sense already to do cleaning by yourself, maybe also you can optimize some laundry things. Probably that makes sense to find extra hour to put in that side project. And that also is applicable to all the libraries. Hear me out. Okay, currently I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> between do not using uh, third-party plugins at all and using as much as possible. Let me show. So in this project, I have more than few uh, plugins, as you may see. But what we have here, Wishkey telemetry desk and bombs, it exploded. So basically, I have problems currently with Google Ads plugin. And the problem is that, yeah, I don't know what is going wrong. I have to fix that. I have to spend time on that. And frankly, probably I will just remove Google Ads from this project because they're bringing close to zero money. And I don't really enjoy and like how they look. Okay, whatever. And let's take a look on positive examples. <laughs> so this application, I just started to build it. I'm building now on live streams and so on. There is no third party plugins at all. This is dumb, simple application. There are just two, I don't know, one screen, few onboarding screens, nothing. I don't need much. Probably I will add Wishkit to have feedback from the customers, but that's, that's it. 
and yeah if you are looking on something bigger so this project that's kind of what i have again wish kit revenue cat and that's it so why should we use them because what is what that wish kit thing is for those who don't know let me run this project and show you here we have feature request tip that's this and here we have feature request i added that just just this one line and what we are getting here we are getting feature requests you can see approved we can see already implemented you can add new feature request you can open them and see comments and stuff like that and add more comments here and all of that is implemented by this one line can you build that by yourself Yes, probably you can, but again, let's <laughs> let's go back to our math about how much your hour of work costs. We just calculated something like 100 bucks in an hour. So how much time it will take to build it? One day, two days, 10 hours? So it, if it is 10 hours, that's 1000 bucks, right? So you can get this feature by just adding it to your project. And how much does it cost? Now, currently it is... 15 bucks per month it is cheaper to get it as third party tool implement in your project and do not care anymore about support adding new features for just this kind of functionality and yeah you have here also kind of web interface to approve disapprove and so on kind of those feature requests I don't think you can build that in 10 hours. I can't. I can't. But I can add this line in <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> and uh, so, and you can get this functionality. I'm not saying that you need in your project this specific functionality. But when you're thinking about building something or paying for existing tools to get the same result, do that math because many of developers are in that mindset. Oh, I build that by my own i will spend one month building my own tool and i will save five bucks for us as a developers as indie developers the time is most kind of valuable thing because you can invest this time into the marketing you can invest this time into building new apps and so on do not waste them on building tools which already exist because i have been on many one-on-one -on -one calls and on group calls and i heard that more than once that oh yeah this analytic tool is kind of nice but i would prefer to have my own analytic tool collect all the data here is for example telemetry desk if you need analytics you can use that firebase free analytic tools and so on so it doesn't make sense always to build your own stuff revenue cut another thing what i'm using in this project i have revenue cut as well right can i implement in a purchases by myself of course i can so we have enough in a purchases here and yeah it's this kind of part of screen is my custom kind of screen this bottom part is from revenue cat i could build implement that by myself but revenue cat kind of gives you kind of possibility to run kind of a b tests and so on test prices test different paywalls that's already becomes tricky to implement and how much this revenue cat costs let's be real so if you're making below two and a half k it's free <laughs> you are paying nothing when you're making more than two and a half K, it's 1%. So let's keep or imagine it uh, 4K in the app. It is 40 bucks in, in months. I think we should be kind of very smart about uh, where and when we spend our time. It quite often makes sense to spend more time on research, what to build next, which application launch and so on, than spending this time on building your own backend, your own kind of custom user kind of feedback collection tools and so on. And yes, even if you will make 100K in a month, this uh, 1% still will be 1000. And when you will have this 100K in a month, then you can think about kind of, okay, probably I should optimize it to do not pay one one percent in a month but again if you will have a dedicated person who will run those a b tests and all that stuff so you will pay more that's one thing and <laughs> if you are below that 100k do not think about that yet and uh, that's the same problem is the thinking about scaling before you have customers so leave all those 
upcoming problems for later and first get your 100 customers then 1000 customers get your up on 100 bucks in a month then to the 1000 bucks in a month and then start thinking about all those scaling issues and yeah if you are interested which uh, third party tools i am using i'm not using too many i'm covered practically almost everything but i have a dedicated video about that you can check that out and uh, see ya okay thank you bye